Hello, I'm Russell with the Piano Outlet, and today we're going to talk a little bit about the Yamaha Disc of Ear, uh, the older systems, how to upgrade them, and a nifty, a, a nifty new device that's just come out that we're like the first to have here, that nobody else has, that uh, makes this process a lot easier. So if you have a, an older disc of ear that may take floppy disks, you know that those are kind of old technology and you probably want to move to new technology, which is this unit here called the Yamaha DKC850, which actually brings that, this piano into today's net technology where not only does it play CDs, but you can um, stream uh, Yamaha's disc of ear radio station onto your piano. You could also run your piano with your iPad with the, with the uh, Disco Viewer app, app and uh, just makes it a lot easier, a lot more fun to use. Um, Yamaha came out with this, this unit to upgrade the old units and uh, there's actually two ways that you can do the upgrade. Uh, with the older, older ones, um, what they do is they have to, you have to connect the DKC850 in line with the older unit. So what happens is that you're actually going to have these two boxes in order to operate the piano. The newer disc of ears, the ones that actually also play CDs, um, you don't have to use this unit, you could just go direct. But uh, just to show you basically how this works is that when you um, connect it in line, this is how the connection is going in the back. If you see here, this is the wire that comes from the piano, control for the piano. Then you have your MIDI in and out cables, very, very simple. You have the mini MIDI in and out here, and they correspond to in and out here. So in other words, out to the in, into the out. And then on the uh, DKC850, you have your speaker output. You don't use the speaker output on here, you use the speaker output on here, which plugs into your speaker as you can see right here. And uh, all your connections are made. Now, the next thing that you have to do is turn both units on. As you see, this is on. Usually, you don't have to do anything to this other than just turn it on. You don't have to press any switches or anything. I've never had to do anything like that, but just turn it on. It's going to be fine. And then with the DKC850, you have to turn it on. And then you have to do um, a setup in here to let the DKC850 know which disc of ear that you are going to be using. So in this particular case, it's a uh, Mark II XG and it's only a floppy disk, and it's what we call an add, because you're adding this unit to the piano, uh, you're adding it in line with the DKC850. So on the remote here, you see a button that says System, so I'm gonna press System, okay? And then on the readout here, you wanna press your, your right arrow to get it to where it goes to Piano Type. Then you press the middle button on the remote, Says enter, okay. Now it says replace. You're not replacing. You're going to be adding, okay. So we're going to press the no button. Actually, the plus button, and then you're going to hit the enter button, and it's going to restart. Now, that's very important that it does a restart. So many times I've done this, and I think that it's done, and it doesn't work. It's only because I used the remote incorrectly, and it didn't restart. So now it's restarting. You have to wait for it to boot up. And then we already have a, um, a CD in here. Please wait, gotta wait for it to boot up more. Okay, so we're gonna select here. You can actually press the select button over here, but it's kind of a little bit easier to do it this way on CD. And then you wanna wait a little bit and you can just press the play button and you'd be in business. Okay, so that's that. Okay, now if you have uh, this little nifty device here, which we just got in today, okay, these are made by my good friend out there, Richie Hayes. Who manufactures these and uh, we have one to show you today so what we do is we take now you'll notice one thing and I'm going to show this in the camera here you notice that this gadget has one input that has three rows of pins and one with two rows of pins 
The older units have two rows of pins, and that's what's going to go in here. So we take the wire from the piano, we plug it in here, and then with your DKC 850, you actually get this cable with the three rows of pins, and you'll plug it in the other side and plug that into the DKC 850. So we're going to, so we're going to unplug. Let's just get rid of this old thing right here. Get rid of this, unplug this, unplug this, unplug this, unplug this, get this wire over here, get this, throw it away because you don't need it anymore. Now you take this from the piano and you're going to plug it in because this is the one with the two rows of pins as you see right here. So you plug this in here. Ta-da! Okay. And then as I mentioned before, this cable here comes with the DKC850. It's an adapter. So you're going to plug this into the back of the DKC850. When you have it underneath the piano, you'll screw it so it's a secure connection. We just have it over here so you can see it on this video, video purposes. And then this goes here. Now this gadget that I have here, this, uh, I don't know, it's called the uh, Richie Hayes uh, Ad Bypass. <laughs> The Hayes Ad Bypass. Okay, so now we have this set up over here, and it would be under the piano, out of the way, you wouldn't see. So now we're gonna get our remote, we'll go back. Oh, we don't need this anymore either. That's right, get rid of this. Look at this over here. Okay, so now we're gonna go back into, we're gonna press the button for system. Okay, we're gonna press the arrow to get into piano type. Press enter. Now we're not adding, we're going to be replacing. Press replace, press the round enter button. Restart, very important that you have a restart. She's restarting all over again. Now we have to wait for it to go through all this booting up process and all of that. This would be really great if you have an older system, MX100, uh, MX80, one of the first generation, uh, actually second generation uh, disc clavieres, and any that have this type of connector would work with this. And that's basically all the second generation disc clavieres and up. Okay, so now we're going to play CD. Wait about a second or so. Don't you know that it was so there you are. This is like major. If you have an older disc clavier, instead of having to go through all of this stuff with the old control box, I mean, what if you had an older disc clavier and your older control box didn't work anymore? I mean, you wouldn't even be able to connect this thing. But this little uh, gadget over here uh, enables you to delete that old nasty control box that doesn't work anymore and uh, have your, uh, your disc clavier in the 21st century. So I hope you like this little video. If you have any questions, feel free, to, free, feel free to call me. Phone number's on the back of my shirt. There you go. And I appreciate it. Thank you for watching.